Ladies and gentlemen, I'm back on another game review, and yes, from the title, from the YouTube shorts, from the community post, the Warriors win on the road in the nation's capital in Washington, and there's a lot to talk about. Now, I said in the last Spurs game there's a lot to talk about, but this game is definitely a lot to talk about, so welcome back. If you haven't already, go down there, hit the subscribe button, like the video. And yes, the Warriors absolutely dominated. They came in clutch in the fourth quarter on the road. So first off, what we will do is, you know, we always do it. We always do it. We watch the recap. So that's what we're going to do. I'm going to go in and we will watch the game recap now. Six players in the Warriors team got over, got over double digits. But here we go. First off, Warriors, Wizards in DC. Steph Curry there. Back from his injury. But now, look, keep your eye on the scores. Where are you going to keep your eye on the score? First off, Curry. Quick three. Good. We're down 9 to 10. And now Curry. Driving. Getting the N1 to fall. He was like 17 of 28 from the field. Chris Paps, Paul Zingas now going in. Getting his M1 on the other end. He gets it in. He, he was really their main man for this. But look at this. At the end of the first, Kyle Kuzma. Hits the buzzer beater to end the first quarter. And we're, we were going to be up by like seven, but now they cut the lead down to two or whatever. 43-41 now. Jordan Poole, the step back three. He was unbelievable. And then now Poole finds Steven Chenzo. No, he'll just pull up and bury it. He buries it. We're up 66-64. to And you know Jordan Poole wants and more. Another step back. To end the second quarter, we're up 69 to 64 at the end of two. And now you've got, is that Monte Morris? Yes, it is. He gets it up. He came from Denver, over from Denver with Nikola Jokic. And he slows up. Now the Wizards go on a run. They're up by nine now. Warriors have to call the timeout after that. But here, we're in the bonus, which is good. Now you find Curry. He hits it. The lead's down to two. And now he's. Rui Hachimura finds Kuzma. He hits a three. They're up 104 to 98. And then we came back very quick in this clutch. Curry, fadeaway shot while the shot clock goes down. 108, 106. Now Curry going off balance, floater, off the back is good. We're up 112, 111. Just if you leave Curry open, he will connect. He hits another three. Curry again, no. Back to Jordan Poole, and you know, if he is on hot fire, he gets it. And now the Warriors win on the road, a massive win we needed, 127-118. So, we will talk these things that I saw out after the game. First off, Warriors, there was a th total of 13 lead changes through that whole game. There was a total of 13 lead changes through the whole game. They come on top in the fourth with a back-and-forth battle. To finish the game, we went on a 29 to 12 run because that's how we we had to close out the game. We went on a 29 to 12 run. Draymond Green stepped up big. Curry and Poole were their three main players who exploded in the fourth. And then Curry there, he dropped 41 points. Steph Curry dropped 41 points, 12 from 28 from field, six of 15 from the three, seven rebounds, two assists. So he. I think Curry's back. He's back from his injury. He had a few good games, okay games after his injury, but now he drops, drops 41 in Washington, going to the White House tomorrow. So the Warriors, Steph, 41 points, unbelievable. Now this is Jordan Pill. Look at these stats quickly. As a starter, he's played 22 games, 22 off the bench. Points, um, he averages 26.4 points as a starter, 15.2 as a, on a bench. On the field goes, though, he's a better percentage shooting-wise on a starter. His point, three-point percentage is better off the bench. So he started today. Clay was out if we had. He hasn't played a back-to-back -back all season. But he really... That's his stats. If you want to look at that's his stats that I saw after the game. And here, Jordan Poole. He also added 32 points. Steph and Jordan Poole combined for 73 points of the 127. I'll put Jordan Poole and Steph's highlights on the screen. Go check those out. He was 12 from 20 from field, 7 of 13 from 3, 7 rebounds, season high of 7 rebounds, 3 assists, 2 steals. Jordan Poole was athletic in that one. But this man, this guy here, Draymond Green, 17 points, 5 of 7 from um, field, 2 from 3, he shot 3 threes and he made 2 of them. 
Six rebounds, 10 assists, three skills. That is classic Draymond Green stacks. Draymond Green had 11 fourth quarter points. He ties his career high. Draymond Green, I think it was about, we're down 98 to 106. And Draymond Green absolutely stepped up while Curry was off the floor. He stepped up hitting some big shots, a mass two clutch threes. So Draymond Green, we know how good he is. There's rumors about him with the Jordan Poole um, at, at, um, in the um, preseason with the Jordan Poole, Draymond Green punch. But now he stepped up. So there's rumors of him leaving the Warriors for something. But I think after this game, he's amazing. He had double-double, 17 points, 10 assists. And here it is. Warriors set to visit the White House tomorrow. First trip to the White House since their 2015 championship, which is great. And that's it. So we'll go to the ESPN here. So we're playing this game without uh, without Clay. He's resting on the back back. Without Igadala, without Kaminga, without Wiseman, and without Jamichael Green. They're all out with injury management kind of thing. But here it is. Points, Curry, 41 points. Chris has losing on the other hand. Chris Tapps, Paul Zingas, 32 points. Looney, 9 rebounds. Draymond Green, 10 assists. So the game flow, it was pretty even mostly the whole way. At the end of the third, it was tied at 93 all. Here's our shot chart. So our shot filters here, if we go all our made threes, as you can see, way more made threes than our Wizards. They're not really shooting a three-point shooting team. They're mainly in the paint team. But I like, we had to come in and win this road game so, so we couldn't fall way below 500. We're on 500. And full team stats is where we want to look because the only thing that happens with the Warriors on the road is turnovers. Points of turnovers and turnovers is where we, if we get losing in turnovers, they go scoring points and then they start winning, get a big margin. So here it is. Oh no, not play by play. Uh, team stats here. So uh, the main one, three point percentage, we were better in three point percentage. Free throws, we were 90%, so pretty good in that. Uh, we had nine offensive rebounds, tw uh, 34 defensive, so that shows offensive and defensive we win in that category. Points off turnovers. We were, Wizards were better in points of turnovers, 21 to 11. So with that, we've got to stop limiting that. From our turnovers, they go score. That's what it means. So we were okay with that. Fast break bongs, 20. Points in paint, they had way more, 46. Um, largest lead. So our largest lead was 11 and theirs was 9. So the largest lead wasn't that much, but it was still good. So that is it. We had to come up clutch. We beat, we led... Um, the whole, not only the whole game, but we led all periods. So we were up by, um, in the first quarter, or up by second, we tied, and then we won. So with that, we're now 5-17 and 17 on the road. Now, it's still a shocking road record, but I'm feeling confident now. As I said, yes, the Bulls, shocking game, last game. I know that. I said in the Spurs, we have to start winning back-to-back -back road games. We nearly won, but this game is we needed because we're going to the White House. The Warriors are going to the White House tomorrow. Going to see the president, Joe Biden, from their championship, they didn't want to come into a loss. Curry drops 41, of course, perfect. Um, but Clay's out, so Clay hasn't played back to back games all season. But we had to try and win this without Clay, and we did. Anything else I missed? Have I missed anything else? I probably have, but anyway, we will go to the Warriors season now and where we're sitting. So, where we're sitting, we're midway through January, technically, a bit over January, and we're sitting okay, but where we want to be is not ideal, but this is what the ladder is there. We're sitting in Western Conference, 7th place on a game on 500, 22 wins, 22 losses, and we're right there because if we lost that, we probably we would have jumped down to probably the 8th or 9th, which is not what we wanted, but we're there. We're just there. If all we need to do is win a few more road games, it's shocking. We've got... Celtics away. Oh this I'll show, look at this road record. No, look at this next run here. You got Celtics away in TD Garden and be a finals rematch. You've got Cavaliers away, then you got Nets at home and then Grizzlies at home. So you're versing four great teams right now. Celtics best record in the NBA. Then Cavaliers up there, top three, and then Nets unbelievable, and then Grizzlies. But we did we did beat Grizzlies at home on Christmas Day. But we're gonna we're gonna be really focused on this. Celtics game is big. The Cavs game is big. So if we can, we at least gotta try as hard to get those games because we're still bad on the road. We're five and seventeen, but we are two and one on this road trip. So if we can 
get better wins, slow, slowly wins with one quarter of a time, if we can get at least either Celtic, Celtics, if we can get at least two more, or at least one more road win of this road trip, we'll be feeling better. But we just want to jump up the standings as early as, we want to jump up the standings before the end of February. We want to be in the, like, midway through February, we want to be top top six, top five, or just in the playoff spot, because we're, we're just in the play-in. So a lot to do. I think we can get it. And that's really it. If I miss anything, I'll put the ESPN app in the description, free on the App Store. Go follow your favourite team. And that's it. But the Warriors come in clutch. Pool and Curry lead, though. They can play for 73 points. Unbelievable. Uh, next time we play the Wizards is at home at Chase. And that's it. That is all I've got to talk about. Thank you for watching. Warriors visit the White House tomorrow. Anything else I missed, go check my channel. Subscribe. There will be, not soon, but sometime there will be a um, NRL preview of tips and ladder prediction next season. So sometime in the next month or two months will be. So stay tuned for that. Also, my new game review intro, you saw it to the start of the video. I decided to change the music. I love, the, I love that song, but I sought to change it and got new videos in there of the Chase Center and all the other stuff. So I hope you guys enjoyed that. Thanks for watching, guys. Uh, like and subscribe. Go check out um, my last um, All Star. If you haven't seen it, the All Star bench players for the All Star game this year. I'll put that in the video for you guys. Go check that one out. The All Star video that I posted, I think, two days ago. Go check that one out. See ya.